This is the story of how I fixed a cursed crockpot that should have never been opened. Now I must pay the price. A younger, more brash, naive self thought she would not be affected by the mark of the demon. She thought that it was fake. This is how I became cursed to a terrible fate. I have this old crockpot here. It seems to have the mark of the demon on it. It doesn't work very well. Fixing it shouldn't have any repercussions, right? Let's see what's wrong with it. Looks like a broken cord. Based on the fact that I can't get power unless I wiggle the cord just right, now I just have to open it. It's held by this metal thing that's seemingly impossible to even open. I'm literally hitting it with a hammer, and it's not opening. Maybe a screwdriver? This can't be right. Nope. Nope, it's right. Literally, the iFixit guide says you hit it with a rubber mallet to open these crock pots. Shouldn't this be old enough to be repairable? So, I'm gonna have to figure out something else later. But... <laughs> well, that was odd. Anyway, let's fix this cord. There really isn't much of anything to this. Alright, I got it. Let's test if it works. Yo! Problem! I can't put it back together! So I had to cut the metal to solve one problem which caused another problem which had to be solved by superglue. Well, at least it's all done, and nothing bad happened. My gauge is broken and I'm actually going really fast. You have opened the Oh no! There are consequences for knowingly opening a cursed object? What? That's right. Now you must pay dearly. You must use free BSD. Oh, that's it? As you are destined to No! What would happen if I didn't meet those terms? That doesn't scare me. Fine, I'll do it. I've made my bed, and now I must lie in it. I'm cursed to this terrible fate. Don't be like me, dear viewer, opening cursed objects with the mark of the free BSD demon, lest you want to suffer the same terrible fate.